Hello, this is a uh, Koshar again for SED, uh, Serving Explanation Detail Helper. Uh, this is the eighth part and the final, the final one. Uh, of course, um, this is mostly whenever you want to teach, SED was mostly created for whenever you want to teach somebody the mechanics of how to serve, how to explain it in a way where it's not that difficult for them. They need to be aware of everything, of all these things around them so they can use it to their advantage on what their bodies are capable of doing when actually performing a, a serve okay so this is the finishing stance basically uh, there's more stance to this I just want to keep it as simple as I can but the three basic ones one is the standing position where you actually you know serve and one leg moves forward either into the court or you know you're so far away from the court that you actually land you know still outside the court other things would be the actual uh, distance from where you serve okay depending on how much power you have and how much court area you have okay so that's another part as far as that uh, the second one is actually um, the height jumping straight not even going into the the, the court okay now Again, for those of you who are experts at this, this is so even the younger uh, players can actually understand these videos, okay? So basically, it's jumping straight up, and the reason you would do this top serve is you want the, the ball to drop closer in between the, the the court, or as close as you can to the 10 foot line. Basically, that's the only reason why you would actually jump up high uh, to exert this type of energy uh, and not get that much of a payback as far as the type of serves. Um, most of my serves, what I do well with is those that don't have to do with jumping. But there are some serves that require this type of jump. The last type of jump is a jump where you actually jump into the court. The reason somebody would actually do this is to actually try to um, maybe hit in a certain area waist high to actually uh, make two defenders or two players that are going to receive the ball make them confused on who's actually going to pick up the ball basically mostly it has that purpose besides other purpose of course this is my explanation to the younger type of players why you would actually do this type of serve okay but like i said most of my serves that i do that i've actually kept uh, actually has to do with just the standing position and moving forward or actually not moving forward and just staying in that position you can do a lot more with that uh, one example would be like the jump serve the jump serve you know um, they jump into the court side unfortunately as we all know most of the jump serves actually land in a straight line where if you would do the same type of serve on a Mexican sidearm, it gives you the same results, but with the advantage that the ball is going to move a little bit side to side, as in a uh, as in a floater serve. So, um, and you you'll be more consistent doing the Mexican sidearm than um, the jump serve. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know a lot about the serves. I have taken, I have been studying serving since 1985, and uh, finally came out with Ed. Um, I've came out with others that didn't work. I've done more serves than you can even think about. But if they're if you're not consistent, if they're not something everybody can do, if this if it does not have a high payback, what I mean by that, if if it's real hard to serve, but yet almost everybody can pick it up, that's not a very high payback. You need to be able to have fifty percent of the kids that you teach it to. They must be able to do it, and the the players who are actually receiving the ball, they should have a hard time actually receiving that type of uh, a serve. This is the type of serves that I actually teach in my book, which I I should be finished. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I've been within this as I'm doing right now. I will give you a list of all the different type of practices you can do to take advantage of every one of the eight steps in the set program okay um 
hopefully and they're all going to be in video in this way so hopefully you enjoy this part of the of the system